my YouTube channel, um, The Sweet Chronicle, if you didn't already get that. My name is Tara, if you didn't know that as well. And today I'm going to be reviewing some more Japanese candy, or savoury Japanese treats, I should say. I'm really scared about these guys, to be honest. So, we've got the Umayo Ball, which are these two here. So we've got pizza flavour and teriyaki burger flavour. I'm so worried. So these are a corn snack. Um, the Japanese love their corn. Um, I don't know why, maybe it... I don't know. Don't know. Maybe I'll research that one and put it in the description <laughs> so you can see why. But they love corn flavoured snacks. Um, corn snacks, I should say. So that's those two. I'm just worried. And the next one is these, I believe these are a cheese stick. Um, and these are flavoured sausage and mustard. I don't really like mustard that much. Um, I'm not a huge fan of sausages either. So I'm a little bit scared about this. It's going to be interesting. Um, debating which one to try first. Alright, I'm going to go for the pizza first. That's this one here. So it's got a little character on the front and you can see he's holding pizza or something. Oh, I see. The little cheese stick is eating pizza in his mouth. <laughs> Who knows why. And there's a little guy on the front. So Umaibo it's called. Now, something I didn't actually say in my last review um, is what you have to say. Oh, here I go again. I'm opening it before I review it. Okay, I'm just going to put it down while I talk about other crap. Um, before you eat something in Japan, you say, Itadakimasu. So it's just a polite way um, of, yeah, before you eat something, that's what they say. So I didn't do that in the last one of my haichu and... Um, Ritz review, so yeah, let's say it in this one. And okay, so I, let's pretend I didn't open the packet. Here we go, we're opening the packet. That's what it looks like. It just smells like Doritos, so that's a good sign. So this is what it's like hollow through the middle, it's pretty thick. really worried. Itadakimasu. Oh, it's spicy. Oh my god. I hate spicy stuff as well. Let's just add that to the list of things I don't like. Cherry, cola, spicy stuff, cinnamon, I like more onion, onion. That's one that I really hate. Yeah, I can't stand onion. Why am I taking another bite of this? I don't even like it. No, it's not bad. It's just like a spicy cheesel. That's what it tastes like. Not as hard though. Um, a bit softer. Yep. <coughs> okay. Let's try the next one. So this is teriyaki burger, so you can see, sorry about the reflection guys, so he's holding a little burger and drink, little monkey, so the thing I love about Japan is their packaging, it's always so extravagant, there's always so much going on, but it's, um, you know, a lot of the time they say less is more, but I just love how there's so much happening, like there's just so much to look at, it's awesome. Our packaging should be more like this in Australia. All right, here goes. Oh, that doesn't smell good at all. Okay, why do I do this to myself? All right, so same thing, not as dark as the other one. It's hollow through the center. That pizza one's really spicy. Okay. No, I don't like that one. Ugh. 
come out. It's almost got an onion taste to it. Fuck yeah, I've got a drink. Oh. No. Oh. Damn, I should have done the pizza one last. I'm worried about these now. Alright. <coughs> so these are made by... I don't know if you can see it, Mori and Naga, which is the same brand as the Haichu. Um, so it's one of the main candy companies in Japan. So you can see there's sausages with the, that almost looks like wasabi. So let's hope they're not spicy. Oh my god. And then sticks. Um, so this says Franku. Not sure. Furu. Oh, furu. Uh, mm, furu. Do. Oh, Frank Furter. Frank. Uh, says it in English. God, I'm an idiot. Look. Says it in English up the top, and I'm trying to read the Japanese. <laughs> oh, and obviously that says mustard. So it's got a picture of the mustard and the Frank Furter. I'm talking because I really don't want to eat these. When I got these in, um, or when I ordered them, I was like, that is awesome. And the first thing that came to mind was a couple of my customers that I know would absolutely love these, or at least be keen to try them. Um, me, not so much. I'm not as risk taking, I suppose, to try this kind of stuff. I just like stocking it because it's fun. Um, and I like to be different. I like the shop to be different. <coughs> so, yeah. Oh my god, seriously, <laughs> I don't want to do this. Okay, I'm opening it, and I'm... I know I have to smell it, but I don't want to. Ah, oh, it doesn't smell that bad. It just smells like burnt bacon. That's what it smells like. So you can see the sticks. Yeah, it smells like burnt bacon. That's weird. Alright, so I'm going to pull out a stick. This is what they look like. Oh my god, that is revolting. <coughs> no, <laughs> it's gross. Oh my god. I'm just eating some roots to get rid of the flavour. Oh my god. <clears throat> you know, I don't have a weak stomach, but that's really gross. <laughs> when things that should taste good don't taste good, then that's when I feel really sick. So, alright. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> That was really gross. <sighs> Sorry, I procrastinate a lot. Especially when I don't want to try things that I don't like. That I know I'm not going to like. I knew I wasn't going to like it and I did not like it. At least now, I can tell people what it tastes like when they ask me. I will be honest with them, but um... <clears throat> you know, it's curiosity I think more than anything. And that's maybe why I bought them. Curious. Alright, so <laughs> let's sum up the review. So we've got definitely a 0 out of 10. Actually, no, let's give it a 1 out of 10. Because I do like the effort they've gone to to actually make it taste like mustard. Um, there was a slight... Sorry, I got really carried away because I didn't like it. So I couldn't really take in the flavour. But... Um, there was a slight sausage taste in there, but it was mostly the mustard. And a little bit spicy too, actually. They were spicy. But if you like sausage and mustard, you'll definitely love them. Definitely. They might... Actually, these will be a good addition to a uh, barbecue, maybe. So, yeah. Um, mm, probably give that one maybe 2 out of 10. I didn't really like the flavour of it much at all. Um, and I'll give this one... 
If it wasn't spicy, I'd probably give it a higher rating. Um, but I'll give it... Let's go a... Uh, we'll go a 5 out of 10 for that one. That's the pizza one. I do like the um, concept of these, though. The fact that they're in a stick. Really easy to eat. And they're cheap. They're only a dollar. They retail for a dollar. Um, well, in my shop they do anyway. <laughs> and, yeah. They're actually good. I might get more flavours of these. So if you guys are interested, I'll definitely order some more. Um, Alright, so you know the drill. Comment below if there's something else you want to see. Um, let me know if you've actually tried the things that I just reviewed and if you liked them. Give me a thumbs up. Please do that. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, can't wait to do my next review. Hopefully it won't be something gross. Thanks for watching.